All right, so last year we had to put our travel plans on hold, but as vaccines began to roll out, you may be wondering when it will be safe to take a vacation again, and also when's the right time to buy tickets. Yeah, right now the CDC still recommends staying home as the best way to keep yourself and others safe. But here with what we can expect on the road is the host of Travel Genius Podcast, one of our good friends, Mark Elwood. Hi, Mark. Hey, Mark. Hello, um, ladies. Happy New Year. Happy oh. New Year to you. So give us a big picture. What is travel going to look like in 2021? So I think that's, I, I love that you pointed out that, of course, this is all through the lens of public health, and we have to listen to that guidance. But I think what you're seeing is the travel industry has adapted and adjusted. So you've seen airports begin to do what I call the theater of cleanliness, where you see them cleaning. They might have done that at 3 a.m. before. Now they do it at 3 p.m. so that everyone can see what they're doing and get reassured. You'll see that airports, they're not as busy as they used to be. And you're going to find some of the restaurants might be shut. I always say pack a sandwich if you're traveling. When I've been flying, I've done that. And if you go to hotels, I, the last time I checked into a hotel, I saw a little sticker on the door and it said, don't worry, this room has been sanitized. There were no magazines in the room. And a lot of the big oh, wow. chains have sort of designated someone on property as the hygiene captain. Hyatt has done that. And it's a brilliant way of saying, look, we're really on this, don't worry. Okay, so Mark, there are plenty of people who do not feel comfortable traveling now, mm -hmm. but maybe they think, you know, in September or October, next yeah. fall, possibly the summer, once they've been vaccinated yep. or there's herd immunity, they will be. So should we book now? What, what, are there good deals? What do you suggest? So, okay, I'm a planner. I'm a shameless planner. Yeah. And right now, I'm just thinking about Q3, Q4, and I think everyone else should be too. The deals on flights and hotels for later in the year are still terrific. And the big change compared to before is that flexibility is baked in. Airlines, most of the airlines used to charge really bad penalties if you changed your flight. Now, on almost every fare, those have gone away. So it's much less risky to book now for Q3. Once the pent-up demand has been released, I suspect the flight prices will go up, as will the hotels. Yeah. So I would book now, travel later. All right, but how far in advance, Mark? Right. What if you don't know? You're like, is it going to be next no. year, or should I even book into 2022? What if you're like that? Can you do that and get a good deal? Do you know, you can, you can actually, the way that hotels and airlines work is they really load in their schedules and prices just under a year ahead. Oh. So even if you want to plan for 2022, you've got to be a little patient. It's Q4 this year that is about as far out as you can go. Okay. And, and I think, keep your eye, remember, 2022 will come online pretty soon. We're not, okay. a, we're not as smart as you. Yeah, what, Q4 what is Q4? Means fall, <laughs> the fall and. Sorry, again, I'm talking in lingo, shouldn't I? Basically, the fall, winter. So holiday <laughs> travel season next year. Is but, that better? That's yeah. better. Yeah. So, yeah, so if you want to plan a, a trip for next December, you could book it. And then if you have to cancel it, you have to cancel it. Right. And where can you find the best, best, best deals if you're looking for the best? Well, look, I always say travel right now can be a real force for good. If you if you do it with all, all these responsible guidelines, the best deals are going to be in places that really, really need our visits. Yeah. There are places like Florida's beaches, which haven't had the Europeans visit in the numbers they're used to, who really, really need visitors. The prices will reflect the fact they need you to go. The Caribbean is very similar. Most of the Caribbean islands have handled COVID brilliantly. Their COVID rates are very low. But they're desperate yeah. for mm -hmm. tourism. Their GDP, Antigua's GDP, 60% of it is tourism. Jobs depend on it. Yeah. That's where you're going to see deals and feel good about it, too. Yeah, yeah, that's such good advice. Really quickly, do we get travel insurance? Yes or oh. no? Yes, yes, yes. If you could afford a latte at Starbucks every morning, you can afford travel insurance. Check and see if it's included with your credit card. If it's not, go to travelinsurance.com or insuremytrip.com, one of the online marketplaces. You can buy it very affordably. Just read the small print, make sure it covers COVID. Thank, Mark, thank, thank you, Mark. Thank you. We're dreaming of, <laughs> you, of travel one yes, day. Yes, we are.